Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Body Geeks. As always, I'm your host, Brandon Gertis, and today I'm gonna to talk about a single ingredient, a single supplement you can add to your supplement stack that could give you some benefits. So what is phosphatidylserine? Now phosphatidylserine, although it may come in a supplement form, and that's the form that you'll be taking, you can also get it in food. It's commonly found in like egg yolks, uh, organ meats, some other fat sources, it'll all contain it. Phosphatidylserine is something that can increase recovery time, decrease muscle soreness, improve the health of the cell itself, the cell membrane, like the wall around the cell, could decrease cortisol, which I'll get into in a second, and it can also help prevent muscle damage. To top all of that off, it's something that's really good for your brain, could give you energy and focus, as well as just overall health of your brain. My nipples are very sensitive. So after studying phosphatidylserine, they figured out that it was giving people increased recovery times, decreasing muscle soreness, and they were trying to figure out why. When they studied it further, they realized that it was helping to improve the integrity of the cell wall. So whenever we have all the necessary components to build that wall, we could then build a sturdier wall and we have a healthier cell because of it. So the cells in the muscles, whenever you're exercising and they're, they're taking on damage and abuse, they found that phosphatidylserine could actually help protect the cell because the cell wall was healthier. So they were theorizing that maybe that's why people were getting less muscle damage or quicker recovery times because they weren't completely thrashing their muscle. They weren't really damaging the muscle. Damaging it enough to grow, but not damaging it, permanently damaging it. One of the coolest things that phosphatidylserine does is it decreases cortisol. Now, when cortisol levels go too high, testosterone can lower and you have a bunch of other problems in the body. Many of you have heard of cortisol because it's associated with stress. And I think everybody on the planet feels like they're always way too stressed, especially here in Los Angeles where it's just go, go, go all the time, everybody's stressed. So if we're stressed from say work, life, wife and kids at home, boss at work, you name it, whatever, and then we tack on the fact that we train all the time in the gym and we work out really hard, we have physical, we have mental, emotional stresses, all these things add up and they can increase cortisol. Cortisol elevates, testosterone drops, cortisol wreaks havoc on the body, and all of a sudden your gains, they're going away, they're disappearing. Now phosphatidylserine in the brain can actually help improve brain health as well as brain function. So not only is your brain healthier, but you're now a little sharper, you focus a little easier, have a little more energy, and the list goes on. So the only downside to phosphatidylserine is that it's expensive. It's not a cheap supplement to take, so that's gonna be up to you if you wanna spend the money on it or not. The other thing that some people have reported is that they get headaches, which could be the fact that it's doing stuff in your brain. Uh, for myself, I've never experienced any of that, and I think that it's a worthy investment to add to your supplement stack. If we have anything that's gonna help decrease cortisol, there's, there's not very much in the form of supplements that are gonna help do that. So when we have anything that decreases cortisol, it's something that's, that's kind of taken as golden. So with this, you can improve your recovery, increase your muscle mass, decrease your fat, your brain's gonna be healthier, it's gonna work better, and the muscle cells themselves will all be healthier just from this one ingredient in one supplement. Hey guys, if you like what you saw, we got plenty more information coming your way. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have a Facebook group and an Instagram page that we've provided the links in the description below. Thank you for watching. Until next time, you're watching Body Geeks.